Hi, John Sowash here, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a Google site so that you can begin publishing to the web. The first thing you need to do is consider um, what Google account you want to create your site through. It's very common these days for people to have multiple Google accounts, perhaps a personal Gmail account and a school Google Apps account. So I just uh, want you to be aware that whatever account you are currently logged into will have ownership of the Google site when you create it. I'm at the Google homepage and I'm just going to do a search for Google Sites and should be the first result that pops up. If you have previously created a Google site, um, the homepage will list all of the sites that you are a collaborator on or that you currently own. So as you see here, I've created lots of Google sites and if I wanted to continue editing one of them, I could just click on it and it would open up. We're going to go ahead and create a new site. So on the left side of the screen, we'll see the Create button. We'll click that. And it's really only a few uh, settings that we have to choose from. The first thing is the name of the site. So I'm just going to type in John's Test Site. So this is the name that will appear publicly. Now notice down below, it also creates a URL for you, and that URL is basically the same thing as the name of the site. If you wanted to, you could go down and customize that. If you wanted to change it to something else, um, uh, that's a possibility. You are able to go in later on and change the public name of the site, but you won't be able to change the URL of the site. So just be aware of that uh, when you create the site. Um, up at the top, there are various templates that you can use. So a template is um, really a fully developed site that you have the ability to go in and customize. So these templates already have pictures, graphics, layout, even text inserted into them. That can be good, it could be bad. Um, a very popular one is this classroom site here. I'm going to click the magnifying glass so that you can see uh, what it looks like. We'll do a little preview. Um, this is a very popular site for class pages because it has everything you would want in a class page. So notice here you've got a picture of the teacher, student of the month, lots of different stuff in here. This um, is one that I've seen many teachers use. You're welcome to do so. Uh, I would say that there's probably way more content here, and way more going on that you're probably going to want to manage initially. So typically what ends up happening is someone uses this template and then they go in and they delete virtually all of it, which does take some time. You are uh, welcome to use that. My tendency is just to use the blank template. That way I can go through and decide what I want in there, not have to delete other people's things. Now there's a second setting down below that allows you to customize the theme of the site. So this is the look and the feel of it. So the template has lots of pre-populated text and images and features, whereas a theme just has to do with what it looks like. So you can choose from any of these, some Pretty cool ones, um, uh, some that would be great for an education um, themed site, a class site. I like this uh, treehouse one, I've used this one before. So we can pick one of those and um, that will help us uh, make our site look good from the beginning. And um, a few other options, um, if you have a description for the site, just helps people find it. And then if you want to um, make your site private, you can check this box here. It's not a bad idea to do at least initially while you're getting the site up and running. You can always go back in and change that later on if you want. You need to type in the special code to create our site. And then simply click Create. So here you can see I have a site completely blank in terms of content, but I've got the uh, theme, the template um, behind it um, that makes it look nice and I can go in and customize. That's Google Sites. Um, check back in um, my other episodes that um, uh, discuss how to add content to your site and share your site with other people.